Monday, 22nd August 2022 was a long-awaited day for the community leaders of Queen Beach Ose Ikot Oku, Okobodi community in Ibionologo government area as Heartland Alliance Limited by guarantee funded by USAID in collaboration with Akwaibom State Government to the Gender-Based Violence Management Committee headed by the wife of the governor, Dr. Mata Udom Emmanuel, held a one-day sensitization campaign against rape and violence. Talk, end rape now, shun violence. <laughs> Heartland Alliance Limited by guarantee. Even a call me so move for a Ministry of Health. Heartland Alliance, any partner, any leading America outreach. I mean, I know people suffer because I get the only father. They gave me to say, Keep me, keep coming to say, Free, free, give me anything. I need, let me feel it, feed me, feed. All that I need, that I am the pro. The ancient home base of Mary Slessor community, popularly known as Queen Beach, which comprises of eight villages, including Okobodi, Usunguwa, Obodifio, Itarikot. Odoro Mbiam and Usung Okum Mbiam became necessary for the campaign flag off according to the community leaders because of the island nature of the place with seaways which visitors with different backgrounds migrate in from different cities. The campaign which took place on the market day gathered momentum and received more attention as the wife of Akwaibum State Governor her Excellency Dr. Mrs. Marta Udom Emmanuel was the special guest of honor represented at the event by the GBV committee members Obonga Wan Patricia Esien Obot, Mrs. Kokoma Umana, Mrs. Enobom Jerome Akwan. <laughs> Receiving the team, the village head of the community, Eteidung Ita Umor, expressed appreciation to Heartland Alliance and Akwaibom State Government for coming to conduct screening tests on HIV and enlighten the people on the danger of rape, which any culprit is liable to serve a jail term. My message to Heartland Alliance is that we are grateful. You say, give Kodo to the governor and Mrs. Mata Emmanuel, who has helped us to come and bring these people, to come and test us, because raping is too much in this area. And because of raping, we have what? We take IV, and we wish this area these people will come back to help us because the war will not finish today because we are so many so many in this area thickly populated we also know that today if you see behind us water has overflowed so many places many people are running away from uh, the place where they were selling their goods because of water we wish that also 
party, my dear wife, to the governor, will help us because and tell us, take us to Nena. Similarly, the youth leader of the community, Comrade Okon Okon, lauded the organization for the life-saving initiative and called for more frequency in the campaign to help reduce the cases of rape in the area that is mixed populated due to the seaways. We are very happy for the government of the day. We are happy with Atlan Alliance Limited. So for me, we are really happy for this great day because it is the government of the day. He said, let uh, the Lord God Almighty bless our Amiable Governor's wife to stop rape. They say rape must stop now. And we believe rape and stop immediately. So my message to Atlan Alliance is that they should come back to our community so that we continue to enjoy the free medical care. Setting the tune of the campaign, the state team lead of Heartland Alliance by guarantee, Dr. Ngozi Nana said the visit also became necessary sequel to the commissioning of Sexual Assault Referral Center SAC by Her Excellency Dr. Mataudum Emmanuel in the month of May 2022, which our organization discovered that there was an increase in rape cases with record of six victims from Ibionor and still counting even recently with records yet to be disclosed which informed the decision to start up the campaign in Ibionor LGA. The thing where we carry it on for Ibionor is from local government area today that helps matter and carry your stuff. But inside that health talk where carry your stuff, the main thing where make us come here today, we say make we come talk to us about rape. You go see say for our banner here, for our banner here, we say the message that end rape now, shown violence. So as I talk, you go see all these my sisters where they here. All of them come from the state. Then they work with the wife of the governor of Aguaybom state. And they there with her. They have been going around all the local governments in Aguaybom state. And that's why we as an organization, Heartland Alliance Limited by Guarantee, and we are being funded by the USAID, that is the American people. And I make we say make we bring this good news come. Dr. Nena, while leading the campaign around the community down to the market places, pleaded with Ibiona people to abstain from rape for a better society. If you are not local government LGA, we will say on a day very lucky. But the main message where carry us be say, rape is evil. When you rape somebody, you don't kill that person. You don't need to rape anybody, especially the one where they pay pass, we say, small children, then they rape small children. So as we they come from there now, we see small children, we stop them. As we dance, we then finish. We still tell them, say, if anybody touch your breast, if anybody touch your vagina, if anybody touch your penis, if anybody touch your bum bum, go tell your mama, go tell your papa. People where they abuse people, now people where they close to them, not be strangers. So the message where we carry come, we say, make we end rape. She called on the community to report sexual assault cases to Heartland Alliance through the organization call lines and the SAC centers closer to them. Mama, Papa, Uncle, Brother, Sister, where they are? When you reach your house, talk to your children about rape. Let them know they rape people again. And not the only women that they rape, not the only girls that they rape. Then they also rape small boys. Then they also rape small girls. So our message today is say, make we stop rape. Interaction with community people and Okobodi traders during the campaign. The awareness campaign featured HIV and HEADS testing, COVID-19 vaccination, 
prep and pep services among others. The Gredo TV show on NTA Creo had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the following participants at the campaign and staff of Heartland Alliance. Actually, you can also them and so I know the dangers of brain fog. Any child that is up on education and it's not against the law to abuse the new child because of maybe based on the gender or whatever. And the test also is a good thing because so many people have benefited. We are looking at um, extending this kind of services to all the vulnerable communities in the state is a way of us fighting against gender-based violence and also extending our medical services to the community members especially in riverine areas like this where people could be highly vulnerable due to the condition of the environment yeah. today our team has been fun it's, a, it's always the way of having an alliance when we go out we create awareness. Today has been beautiful. People of Okobodi have heard our voices. And you can see our stand is People have tested. The messages are passed around. So we are grateful. So my uh, Atlanta Alliance team did it to come and create some awareness, create, uh, make sensitize people on how to be alert and also make them understand uh, the uh, reporting uh, channel wherever there are rape cases. The message is simple, as you can see here. End rape now, shun violence. Because actually what brought us to this place, aside the fact that we know that, okay, we can say that everywhere is synonymous with rape. But because of the kind of work we do, we found out that in recent time, just like you heard one of the chiefs say, the chief said, we cannot hide away from the truth. That the truth is that there's a whole lot of grave incidents is coming out from this particular place, from this if you're not eligible. And the most painful aspect of it is that most of them actually are against children. So that is to show you how painful it is. So it's not just about rape, it's rape against children. Yeah, that's actually why you see that this particular family, really, this flyer, we distributed it. So, and there are phone numbers there. We have the phone number of an Yenda Foka person, and we also have the phone number of a human rights person who is a lawyer. So, it is very, very right. Exactly. So, just a phone call away. Once you just experience rape or abuse, please just call any of the numbers, and somebody will be able to attend to you immediately. It is not everybody that must come to you. The most important thing is that we have people working everywhere in the 31 LDAs of our so anywhere you experience any form of violence, there's only somebody there to attend to you.